Our meal was shared in silence, and I had trouble finding room for my last piece of pickled plum in my stomach, so I stood up to gather the dishes. After cleaning all of the plates and utensils, I sat back down in front of Cosma calmly, waiting for him to share any possible information about a suitable ship. So, in regards to leaving Ferezo, the Satsuma have graciously offered us permission to board their ship. Really? Use your brain. In what way would lying to you benefit me? Thank you! At long last, I can finally reunite with all of my friends in the Shinsengumi! Euphoric tears formed behind my eyelids, and out of reflex I bowed once more to Cosma. What's the bad news, though? As is usual custom, he bore no immediate reaction, his expression unchanged from his hard-nosed stare. Kazuma? I cannot guarantee that either of us will find them, however. In all honesty, the chances are slim to none. What? Somehow the message behind his words failed to register in my mind, and I fell silent. Why not? We... We're still going to take our chances and board that ship, aren't we? I had a sneaking suspicion that things were about to take a turn, which spurned the furious pounding of my restless heart. His words were spoken eerily, worming its way into my mind like a haunting premonition. N no Only one fortress has withstood the tide of change making its surrender in Hakodate all but inevitable. Fate has spoken. I do not anticipate this trip to be fortuitous, even if they have not tended a surrender. Uh. I held my breath all along, predicting the worst. But for those fears to have been realized by Cosma's cynicism was nothing that I could prepare for. Years of blood, toil, and sweat spent in countless battlefields over the corpses of friends and foes gone. The struggle of loss reduced to a single word. They graciously overcame defeat time and time again, but the Shinsengumi swan song was imminent. My heart sank like a stone to the pit of my stomach. I could barely breathe. By the time we set sail for Ezo, there may not be anyone alive to greet us. So perhaps my desire to reunite with them, like all other emotions in this desolate place, was unfounded. I tried my best to avoid sinking into a depression in front of Cosma. I fiddled my hands nervously in my lap. Hmm. Just then, Cosma reached his hand over to me aggressively as I was on the brink of fainting. Thank you. Stand. Back in Aizu, you committed yourself to witnessing the end of the Shinsengumi firsthand. Or were those all hollow gestures? I... wasn't lying. His words slapped me across the face. Kazuma had a habit of provoking my insecurities, as if he took pleasure from seeing me panic. <laughs> He's trying to stop you from fainting. <laughs> For some reason, this time was different. This time he struck a potent nerve. So, if you were being truthful, then it must be clear to you. Their sense of pride. The journey they've traveled and how you are woven into their myth. Although your tenure together may have been brief, remember them as they were. Remember how they honored the path of the samurai. This duty is yours alone. Should you survive, then you will be the sole keeper of their memory. Now, unlike any moment prior, was the moment I realized how fiercely Cosmo's crimson eyes burned, how they could inspire me to do anything. Okay. All I could muster was a nod in response. It was still too soon for me to accept the grief, let alone wallow in a pool of sorrow. But we're still able to board the ship, right? Yes. Okay. Then let's leave for Ezo, to see the Shinsengumi, whatever state they're in. Upon hearing my response, Cosma's mouth formed a grin, and I swore there was a twinkle in his eye. 
It's getting those twinkly eyes uh, pretty often these days. Very well. I shall take you there. Besides, I vow to do so. You can always count on a demon to be true to their word. That is something you can count upon. Thank you. I took a deep gulp, letting myself process the weight of the undertaking I had just accepted before bowing. Thinking back on it, my father and my brother. In fact, almost every warrior I'd ever met imparted to me something significant before they passed on. My heart was keenly aware that another memory, as Cosmo described, would be waiting for me in Ezo. It was the end of a long, long war. I was sure that my journey with the Shinsengumi too would succumb at this war's culmination, and nothing I said or did would ever fully prepare me. This is gonna be rough. After a few days of packing and preparations, we boarded a hulking Satsuma ship to Ezo. The sense of salt and rust greeted my nose as we boarded the ship, and I thought about the strings pulled by Kazuma and Amagiri to make this happen. My initial impressions of them were as heartless monsters bent on destroying the Shinsengumi. But here I found myself thanking them repeatedly. No matter how many times I said it, it never captured how indebted I had felt to their kindness. The time has come. Shall we? Yes, let's go. A faint smile curled in the corner of Cosma's lips. As the summer solstice fast approached, the sun's rays became a harsh kiss upon my skin. By nightfall, however, the searing heat vanished in lieu of the ocean breeze chilling me to the bone. Beyond the stretch of sea were the remaining members of the Shinsengumi. I had only heard legends of Ezo, but from what I knew of it, it was a bleak, frigid landscape that was covered in snow throughout half of the year. I wondered to myself how the men were coping, how they steeled themselves to battle each day. Man, what another awesome picture. As I found myself lost in a moment of reflection, I was startled to see Cosma suddenly next to me. We should arrive in Ezo no later than tomorrow. Have you given any more consideration to your aim in witnessing the Shinsengumi's final moments? My gaze fell to the floor silently. I thought that I was ready for it all along, but I had some hesitation in seeing it for myself. The reality was, the number of men who had fought and sacrificed their lives was a mystery to me, and I had been oblivious about it for some time. For all I knew, the men whom I had so desperately pined to see were long gone, their bodies ravaged in unspeakable ways. Kondo, Sanan, Okita, Sayato. Heisuke, Harada. Over the past year, news of their deaths traveled to me while tending to my own business with Cosma. I fooled myself into thinking that, somehow, not bearing first-hand witness to their deaths meant there was a chance they were still alive, but... I must see it for myself. I want to see their grit, their conviction, and I want to be there for them. When it all comes to a close... Since we are their memory's keepers, we must witness every second of it for the sake of its truth. Cosma kept his stare fixed on the northern star, which flickered softly above a sparkling ocean. It took a while for him to speak, and when he did... I detest the cold. Let us return inside. I followed shortly after him, hearing the waves crash against the side of the ship as we went inside. All right, well, that was that, I guess. Just as Cosma had predicted, our vessel reached the outskirts of Ezo by the very next day. In order to approach the harbor, we moved onto a smaller ship, dropping anchor in Nanehama. However, it hadn't taken very long before others took notice of our arrival. Ah! Cannon fire bellowed all around us, cracking like thunder as they flew through the air and shook the ground underneath our feet. This way. Kazuma instantly grabbed a hold of my arm, yanking me closer to shield me. Thank you. Th thank you. That was a cannon, wasn't it? So that must mean... It means we've stumbled right into the thick of it, haven't we? 
My heart dropped, realizing that the Shinsengumi were likely fighting for their lives at this moment. As I attempted to break into a sprint to search for them. Wait. <laughs> Hi? Cosma wrapped his arms around my shoulders and my body went numb in his tender embrace. Did I call the hug? Either that he's trying to choke me, <laughs> one or the other. Cosima? The suddenness of his gesture had thrown me off entirely. Was Cosma simply trying to protect me from the shower of bullets and cannon fire raining above? Or was it something more? Um, something the matter? He offered no immediate answer. In fact, I was totally in the dark about why Cosmo was acting the way he was, given that I had no view of his expression to glance at. Instead, I could only rely upon the tight warmth of his embrace before he responded. Nothing can deter you from going, can it? There is still a chance of saving yourself from the pain of watching their demise unfold. Contrary to our initial discussion, Cosma had seen less concerned with the fact that I had wanted to go. The focus instead was upon my well-being, asking the question about whether I was ready to handle it all. Aww, I must protect you. It begged an answer, one that still needed forming. Well... A lump formed in my throat as I questioned myself. Moments from now, whether or not I had adequately prepared myself for it, I may encounter the corpses of Hijikata, Shimada, Soma, and Namora. Would I... Would I be strong enough to cope with it? Could I, like the rest of the Shinsengumi men, grapple with loss, conquer it, and come out all the stronger? I gritted my teeth. I mustn't have any doubts. I had to come to a decision. Yes, I'll go. To where everyone is fighting. And I added... Oh heck no, we're not going alone, that's a bad idea. You coming with me, boo. But I do have one request. What is it? Oh, look at that, that's so cute. I placed my hand softly upon his, which was still coiled around my body. Will you stay with me? Until the bitter end? If I were to stand witness to the Shinsengumi's demise, and it becomes difficult for me to keep my composure, let alone stand, would you be there to lift me back up? With these hands? I sense Cosma's muscles tighten in his face, which I could have sworn was a smile, given the closeness and proximity between our bodies. It only took him a beat to conjure a reply. Ah, oh, petals came out of his chest. Must be good. How stupid of you to ask. Do you take me for a charlatan who goes back on his word? I will follow you, no matter the distance. A part of me expected him to respond as much, but hearing those words fall so comfortably from his mouth evoked a warm feeling in my stomach. <laughs> Although his response was rather arrogant, it's very him. Its delivery was muted by the way his arms pinned me next to his beating heart, and through this intimate expression he laid bare his truthful self. Thank you. I was beginning to lose count of how many times I had thanked Cosma during our time together. It's true, this whole route's been very much you just thanking him for stuff. Because of him, I was alive, ready to confront whatever came next. Oh my goodness. So touching. Kazuma and I continued our cautious approach towards the area of Goryokaku. Our walk was interrupted when Kazuma said, Wait. His command was curt and sudden. Hear that. The cannon fire has ceased. Huh. Now that you mention it. The silence was far more eerie than the score of cannon fire that was roaring moments earlier. Do you think that the shogunate forces have all been destroyed? No. My ponderous question fell on Cosmo's deaf ears as he pursed his lips in a moment of contemplation. 
Perhaps fate is telling us something. Something we won't know until we reach Goryokaku. Let's move. Okay. Kazuma's body language was suggestive enough for me to assume what may have happened, but there was no way of knowing for sure. Each step closer to Goryokaku unsettled my nerves. There was nothing to do but push forward, readying ourselves for whatever threats may have awaited us. I'm not prepared. <laughs> June 18, 1869. The government of Hakodate, after weeks of resistance, finally tended their terms of surrender over to the newly formed Meiji government. Over a year and a half removed from the events of the Battle of Tobufushimi, the war was drawing to a close. Yeah, we were... we were too late. Our arrival in Goryokaku was greeted with a bevy of familiar faces, forlorn by the news of surrender. But at least two of our guys are still alive here. <laughs> Soma looks so sh surprised to see her, while Shimada just looks so tired. <laughs> oh, poor boys. Shimada! Soma! Oh my goodness, I can't believe all of you are safe! Yukimura, since when have you been in Azo? Our ship docked just the other day. It's been too long. There's so much I have to tell you guys. Oh, wait a sec. So just because you had something to tell us, you came all the way out here. You're crazy. What, what if a stray bullet were to hit you and you got seriously hurt? The hell were you thinking? Enough of your petulant whining. As long as she is under my protection, there shall be no such threats to her safety. Especially ones as harmless as you describe. Hey! You're... Uh, aren't you the lord of a demon clan? State your business with Yukimura. Actually, Cosma was my escort to Ezo. You sure about that? You don't have to lie for his sake. He's not keeping you hostage, is he? It was natural for Soma and Shimada to have aroused suspicions regarding Cosma, considering he plagued them for years as an enemy. It would be a weird flex for him to- I guess it wouldn't be too weird of a flex for him to be like, Hey look, I got your girl after all this time. It's gonna rub it in your face. The two Shinsengumi men looked at one another with puzzled expressions. So, um, are the men here what remains of the Shinsengumi? What happened to Hijikata and Nomura? Soma slumped his shoulders, biting into his lip. My stomach sank, anticipating his answer from the immediacy of his soured body language. Yeah, he's got the sword. Nomura... didn't make it. We lost him back in Miyako Bay. Uh. Nothing could soften the blow of someone notifying you that your friend passed away. No matter how many times we were given news of someone's passing, it absolutely shattered me. Um, and Hijikata? Some of the Northern Alliance forces were pushed back by the Imperial Army over at Benten Fortress, so Hijikata left to lead the reinforcements. We received word that he, too, was killed in action during the battle. I'm surprised. I really thought we were going to have one last scene with Toshi, but we got here too late. Even Hijikata. The fearless leader of the Shinsengumi, who picked up the pieces after the execution of his beloved predecessor, was not spared from this war. We have yet, mind you, to discover Hijikata's remains. All we have for now is some information we coax from an Imperial soldier who encountered Hijikata. Aw. <laughs> Don't give me a flashback of Toshi. <laughs> I thought he was in the woods. What's he doing on the castle wall? <laughs> oh, no. Hey, who the hell are you? What business have you got with our troop? What business do I have, you ask? I should kill you right now for wasting my time with that question. When the commander of the Shinsengumi, Toshizo Hijikata, comes knocking, then you better answer the fucking door! I'm going to kill every last one of you impotent bastards until there's none left. See you in hell! A 
That's my boy. My boy. From what Shimada was describing, it was the most fitting end for Hachikata that I could have imagined. <laughs> you answer the fucking door! <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Toshi. By virtue of his unstoppable rage, Hichikata lifted the Shinsengumi by the scruff of its neck and led its front line proudly. The remnants of the Shinsengumi persevered in honor of the memory of his famous last stand. Soma, was it? Word is that you're responsible for tendering the Shinsengumi surrender, now that you've been promoted to chief. What compelled you to do something like that? Surely it scares you to think your head may end up on the pike just like Kondos did. We may have been fighting the Imperial Army all the same, but our situation's a little different. There's no reason to punish any of us, since we didn't commit any crimes. Besides, the burden of responsibility was there for the taking, and someone needed to step up. Kazuma beamed with pride as he stared down at Soma's resolute expression. Then he smirked wryly before speaking. <laughs> Just what they need. Another fool who can't think two steps ahead, huh? Look alive, kid. The war's over. The way you're doing things, you might as well etch a line on your neck so they know where to swing. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Calm down, Soma! Kazuma doesn't mean any harm by that! Judgment time's coming up for them. It means we need to leave. Now. Uh, oh! Kazuma! Yes, please go with him, Yukimura. We've not much time before the Imperial forces arrive. Well then, Shimada, Soma, please take care of yourselves. Will do. The feeling is mutual, Yukimura. This may be the last time we see one another, but be safe. See you in the next life. They sent us off warmly, waving in the distance with pleasant smiles, but... I knew their path was not an easy one. The Shinsengumi were branded as war criminals. For Soma, who had willingly assumed the rank of chief in the ensuing vacuum of power, his fate seemed almost cruelly preordained. He'll be okay. I felt nothing but respect for them, however. They held on to an inspiring devotion to the name of the Shinsengumi and what it stood for. I salute you all. <laughs>